We just saw that for converging lenses, the object distance dictates the type of image that you get to the converging lens. It turns out that in the case of a diverging lens, much like a convex mirror, it doesn't matter how far you place the object from the lens, you always get the same type of image. So let's take an object here and let's place it in front of our diverging lens. This is AB. And let's do ray tracing. The ray of light parallel to the optical axis will emerge through the lens aligned with the focal point F. And then the ray of light going through the center of the lens is not going to be deflected. And here the emerging rays appear to intersect right here at B prime. And this is going to be our image. It's going to be A prime, B prime. And what you get is an upright virtual image that is reduced. Now it's a virtual image because this ray of light doesn't actually converge at B prime. It's true that this one does. This one just goes straight through the center, is not deflected. But this emerging ray does not converge at B prime. So it's still a virtual image. So you get a virtual upright reduced image. And it doesn't matter how far the object is from the lens, you will always get a virtual upright reduced image in the case of a diverging lens. Thanks for watching this video. At Congress Academy, we create custom study guides so that you don't have to. Send us your syllabus and some old exams, and we'll put together lecture notes, practice problems with step-by-step -step solutions, and classic exam questions so that you don't waste your time. All you have to do is log in and focus on studying what matters most. And if you have questions, we're available to help. If you'd like to learn more about how Congress Academy can help you do well, check us out at congressacademy.com. We look forward to helping you. See you there.